My name is Ya. My name is Nanyu. We are both from the data team at LinkedIn and working on experimentation. Today, we'll be talking with you about how you can evaluate your mobile apps with A-B tests and quasi-A-B tests. It is clear that mobile is taking over the world. Based on reports in 2015, mobile app usage accounts for more than 70% of the total digit time growth in 2015. A big question is how you can evaluate and improve your mobile apps properly. A classical feature in the online world is evaluated with A-B tests. We split our users randomly into a newer version and an older version. We collect results to determine which one is better. So how does all this translate to the mobile testing? The biggest difference between mobile testing and the web testing, and also the biggest challenge, is that it takes three parties to ship anything. First of all, the app owner needs to build and submits the build. The app store then have to approve it. Finally, the end users needs to adopt the new app version. Such user adoption also creates an opportunity for a quasi-A-B comparison. Because at any given time, we will have users who are the non-adopters on the older app version and the adopters who are on the new app version. The challenge is that it's not fully randomized. So in our paper, we applied the quasi-A-B techniques on the LinkedIn Voyager app that was launched in December 2015. Using quasi-A-B techniques, we were able to largely reduce the adoption bias from 70% to 18% in iOS and 3% in Android. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that our presentation will help you evaluate your mobile apps better. We appreciate your time. Goodbye. Goodbye.